All right, in this video, we're gonna ride and review the Harley Davidson Livewire. Let's check it out. All right, so what do we have here? Uh, I mean, it's a rocket ship. It's super quick. Just, uh, you'll feel it. You'll love it. Have you ridden one before? No, this is the first time. Exciting. All right, so it's just throttle and brakes. That's it. Just throttle and brakes. That's it. Um, it's got dual it comes stock with the Brembos? It does. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. It's just flip this switch, then hit the start button. You got to make sure your side stand is up when you're doing that. Yeah. And then it's ready to roll. Cool. And then you just pull on the throttle, and it's going. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, I promise I won't wheelie it. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Uh, oh, is that right? Well, I mean, there's no clutch to drop. Ah. Do it. Yeah. So if you can, I won't tell my boss. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not, it's not going to be me. What do you think of the Pan American? Oh, I think it's a good investment, man. That's a fun bike. Fun bike. Yeah, you should take it out. It's like no other Harley Davidson. Yeah. Now, what are you doing now? You're riding this live. Bike. Yeah, yeah. Call me FX DLS Live Wire. That's it. Yeah. All right, what's going on, YouTube? That's right. Why not ride a live wire while we are stuck out here in Pennsylvania? Ooh, this is something else. This is something else. All right, here we go. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> so again, shout out to Tommy and the good folks over at Keystone Harley-Davidson for trusting me to rip around on these bikes <laughs> while we are broken down out here. And if you saw my last video, we did a little review on the Pan America and now we're on the live wire. So why not spice things up even more? So yeah, this is insane. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like I don't want to be saying the same thing in every ride and review I do of these types of bikes, but it's the same thing I'm saying for the Pan America is this is 100% does not feel like a Harley Davidson. <laughs> this is like definitely something else. And I guess the the closest thing I could compare this to, which is probably pretty obvious, is what a Zero feels like. Because I did have the opportunity to ride a Zero back in uh, 2017. And yeah, kind of feels like that. That's, I would think the first thing that's definitely standing out to me the most coming off of a really loud Harley Davidson is that there's no noise. It's actually kind of peaceful and meditative. I could see why someone would like this. Dude, this thing is on. So why why did they discontinue it? They did. So they actually just went to uh, Livewire. It's now going to be its own brand. Is that right? Yep. yep. So they're making a they made a newer model. Uh, it's a little bit lower in the horsepower and everything for now. Also a lot lower in price. Uh, well, starting price anyway. Um, but, but it's it's not it's not under Harley Davidson anymore. Right. It won't be uh, branded as Harley Davidson. Anymore. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, this thing is a blast, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's really interesting. I don't know if you heard Tommy, but I guess Livewire has become its own brand. I was wrong. They didn't discontinue it. They're just turning it to its own brand, which makes what I just said actually make a lot of sense, which is it doesn't feel like a Harley Davidson. This is so far from any Harley Davidson I've ever ridden. I'd say the Pan America at least has a little bit of like Harley guts in it in terms of like feel. This is just an alien landing on planet Earth. And this thing is a blast, man. Again, I think the thing that I like the most about this is just actually how different it feels in terms of not hearing anything. So I could see cruising around on like a mountain road just really hearing everything and not hearing exhaust being a really fun experience on this thing. And also just ripping around an urban environment could be a lot of fun too. How many, um, how many miles do you get from a charge on this? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, now Harley dealers, a lot of them have the infrastructure. They have the fast chargers so that you do like 20 minutes. It's something like an overnight charger, so it's great for like around town. And you know, go pick, you throw on a backpack and pick up some groceries or something like that. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if you're if you're doing city, that's pretty good. Uh, so that's interesting. He's saying you're getting about 40 to 60 miles. So I think person who would probably want this would be someone who's doing urban riding. You know, I don't think you're trying to do like any long distance riding on this thing. This thing is your super stealthy urban cruiser. You know, maybe this is like something John Wick would want to come up on someone real stealth-like in John Wick 4. Dude, could you imagine if John Wick is on this thing in the next movie? Just remember, FXDLS Brooklyn called it. But yeah, this thing is crazy. It's definitely, I'm not even in like the sport mode and this thing just goes immediately. Tommy told me that no one has wheelied it yet, so uh, <laughs> someone out there, you know, is it possible? Can you do it? But I would imagine not having a clutch makes it kind of hard. But yeah, this thing is an absolute blast. And I'm glad to hear that they didn't discontinue it because, yeah, I could see this being something that makes sense for a lot of people's riding style, especially if you're just doing, you know, urban, you know, urban commuting, urban whatever. This thing is a lot of fun. But like I said, I could also see this being fun if you have, like, you know, a mountain house or something or a lake house and you just want to do little rips around and really feel some peace and solitude. I think this is the bike for you. It's really peaceful to ride this thing. Ultra smooth. Too much fun, man. Too much fun. But yeah, that's it, man. Super brief and informal review on the Harley Davidson Livewire. I'm glad I finally got to ripping around on one of these things. I had a blast. Shout out to the Keystone Harley Davidson for taking care of our bikes as well as trusting me to rip around on these bikes. <laughs> We're going to get around to waiting for the Scorpion's bike to be finished. I hope you enjoyed these reviews. I'll try to keep more of these coming. And yeah, man. Dude, that, that is a trip, man. That is a trip. I think, like, that is, like, more realistic of course. for, like, for someone coming off of a cruiser. Right. Like you said, this is probably good for someone who's doing, like, a lot of urban commuting. Yep. Or, you know, it's great for somebody just to have as, like, a toy... You know what I mean? Like a secondary bike. Um, you know, you just want to get out there and you clear your head. And yeah. Just grab a throttle and just... Well, that's what I said in the video. It's like it's like very... The fact that you don't hear anything is like very like meditative. It's very smooth. Kind of cool. So that... Uh, people always, you know, talk about the sound of the live wire. Like how there's a lack of a sound. There's, here's the thing. There is a sound with the live wire. You heard it. It's like, a, it's all like the whistle of the engine. And guess what? That whistle of that engine is a patented Harley sound. Oh, is that right? How about that? Yeah, this thing, this thing is a trip. That that's cool because it's like, yeah, that's gonna keep up with any cruiser, but you could also go off roading with it. Yeah, well, hey man, thanks uh, thanks for taking me out and trusting me with these bikes. I appreciate it. I got some good footage.